Hello, BookTube. Um, thought I'd do a little bit of a book haul, comic book haul, and fanzine haul. Um, it's Saturday. After work, I had some time to go out with the family. I had a good time, but uh, I have some things I've wanted to pick up, and then, of course, uh, some of it came in the mail, but we also got uh, stopped at a thrift store. So I'll start with that. I have Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel and loved it. And for some reason, I never got to the rest of the books. So I picked up this, Bringing Up the Bodies, Hilary Mantel. And let's see, this is a John McRae book, Henry Holt and Company, New York. And this is the first U.S. edition of 2012. So the deckled edges and all that. So I'll, I will get to that. Um, I don't know why I never did. The next thing is of more local interest. This is Footprints of the Past, Images of Cornish, New Hampshire and the Cornish Colony by Virginia Reed Colby and James B. Atkinson. Very heavy thing, published by the... Uh, New Hampshire Historical Society. It actually has the order form in it, and you can see where they cut out to make their order. The New Hampshire Historical Society takes great pleasure in publishing this wonderful book on Cornish, New Hampshire, and the Cornish Colony. Simply put, fit, uh, Footprints of the Past is a beautiful book about a time and a place that nurtured the creative spirit in many significant American artists. Many of us know and enjoy the art done by Maxfield Parrish, Augustine St. Gaudens, and Kenyon Cox, as well as the commentary and humor from the likes of Herbert Crowley and uh, Finley Peter Dunn. This book brings together for the first time the biographies and stories about hundreds of Cornish colony artists, writers, musicians, and philosophers whose creative impulses have shaped American art and culture since the mid-19th century. Um, and it's really uh, nicely illustrated throughout. Um, it had a section of color plates, so give you sort of an idea. And it's a place that's right across the river from me, um, or over in New Hampshire. This is actually in a library in the town over from me. Gorgeous. That was uh, Mural in the Windsor, Vermont Library by Alan Cox, 1916. It's based upon the motto, Accurate Reading Profits, Varied Reading Delights. Well, I like that. So, um, the nice thing was, and this was published when, um, let's see, this was published in 1996, and it was signed. So, very excited to find these. About $1.75 a piece. This is Hillary Mantel. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is I got in the mail, <laughs> thrilled, from uh, Matt Wall over at uh, Paper Bag Junkie. Uh, Weird Mask, I've read some of these in the past. Um, and uh, it has a Trekkie's Tale by Paula Smith, The Visible Man by Matt Wall, The Selected by Mark Rennie. Uh, for serials, they have the first installment of uh, The Red Bishop by Steve Donahue. I got to uh, listen to him as he's working on that a little bit. A great start to a story. And then a reprint of uh, Princess of Mars Part 9 by Edgar Rice Burroughs. They have a crossword. So it's like a crossword puzzle. To get you an idea, they have some of these old ads. I, I get a kick out of these. These are just wonderful. Um, let's see... So right here you have the start of uh, Steve Donahue's story with the old ads all around. Uh, let me see, page. Uh, let's see, figure this out. Page six. So here's the uh, the Visible Man by Matt Wall. And he also sent along, this is just fantastic, the uh, third printing, May 1968, with the cover of Spock on here, a fanzine, uh, Spock and Alia, uh, September 1st, 1957. And these things, I just love them. 
and they're just so much fun to go through and geeky delight. So thank you, Matt, at Paperback Junkie, and uh, congratulations to Steve Donahue for the first installment. And then, oddly enough, this is a combined... Uh, I've been watching the comic book Wednesday that Steve Donahue does, and then I've been watching some stuff that Matt Wall over at Paperback Junkie have done, and I decided to go out to my lo local comic shop, and I'll show you who they are. It's uh, Newberry Comics. Shop here. Die happy. And I had some stuff they've been talking about I wanted to get. So I got number one of the Conan. Marvel's taken over this series again. I'm from Dark Horse Comics. I picked up number two. And then these... Uh, True Believers volumes, they're all a, a dollar. I got Conan, The Tower of the Elephant. Uh, Conan, The Barbarian, The Devil God of Balsagoth. Conan, The Barbarian, Swords in the Night. And True Believers, Conan, The Barbarian, the coming of Conan. So they, these are just fun to go through. Um, but the new series I'm very excited about. Um, I'll give you an idea. Here's the opening page for those of you that are into all the writers and anchors and letterers and Thought I'd show at least one image. So Savage Sword of Conan is going to also be coming out. There's an ad for that. So yeah, after I heard Matt and Steve talk about it, I thought, oh, I'm not going to miss out on this. I'm going to go down and see if they have them. They had one of these left. Number one, and they had a bunch of number two. So I'll have to keep up with them as they come out. I'll probably go ahead and give them a read this weekend. So I do have a few tags to do this weekend, and um, don't forget, we'll be getting Sagalong going. Um, also, I have not yet started my, for um, 2F by C, I have not picked out my fiction, my nautical fiction book yet, so I'll be getting to that this weekend. And I uh, hope everyone's safe, and uh, have a good weekend. Thank you, Booktube.